Hey everyone, today is May 1st, 2021, and tonight we will be reading these passages. Judges chapter 8, John chapter 8, verses 12 through 30, Psalm 110, and Proverbs, 5, uh, Proverbs 15, verse 4. So a shorter reading tonight, but still looking forward to it. Judges chapter 8. Then the men of Ephraim said to him, What is this that you have done to us, not to call us when you went to fight against Midian? And they accused him fiercely. And he said to them, What have I done now in, compar in comparison with you? Is not the gleaning of the grapes of Ephraim better than the grape harvest of Ebezer? God has given into your hands the princes of Midian, Oreb, and Zeb. What have I been able to do in comparison with you? Then their anger against him subsided when he said this. And Gideon came to the, jo the Jordan and crossed over, he and the three hundred men who were with him, exhausted yet pursuing. So he said to the men of Succoth, Please give, a f give loaves of bread to the people who follow me, for they are exhausted. And I am pursuing after Ziba and Zal Zalmunna, the kings of Midian. And the officials of Succoth said, are the hands of Zeba and Zalmunna already in your hand, that we should give bread to your army? So Gideon said, Well then, when the Lord has given Zeb Zeba and Zalmunna into my hand, I will flail your, fre your flesh with the thorns of the wilderness and with the briars. And from there he went up to Penuel and spoke to them in the same way. And the men of Penuel answered him as the men of Succoth had answered. And he said to the men of Pen Penuel, When I come again in peace... I will break down this tower. Now Zeba and Zamuna were in Karkor with their army, about 15,000 men, all who were left of the army of the people of the east, for there had fallen 120,000 men who drew the sword. And Gideon went up by the way of the tent, and Gideon went up by the way of the tent dwellers east of Nobah and Jagbeha, and attacked the army, for the army felt secure. And Ziba and Zalmunna fled, and, his, and he pursued them and captured the two kings of Midian, Ziba and Zalmunna, and he threw all of them, and he threw all the army into a panic. Then Gideon, the son of Joash, returned from the battle by the ascent of Heres, and he captured a young man of Succoth and questioned him, and he wrote down for him the, the officials and elders of Succoth, twenty-seven men. And he came to the men of Succoth and said, Behold, Zeba and Zalmunna, about whom you taunted me, saying, Are the hands of Zeba and Zalmunna already in your hand, that we should give bread to your men who are exhausted? And he took the elders of the city, and he took thorns of the wilderness and briars with them. Uh, and uh, Sorry, let me read that again. And he took the elders of the city, and he took thorns of the wilderness and briars, and with them taught the men of Succoth a lesson. And he broke down the new tower of Penuel, and killed the men of the city. Then he said to Ziba and Zalmunna, Where are the men whom you killed at Tabor? They answered, As you are, so were they. Every one of them resembled the son of a king. And he said, They were my brothers, the sons of my mother. As the Lord lives, if you had saved them alive, I would not kill you. So he said to Jether, the firstborn, Rise and kill them. But the young man did not draw his sword, for he was afraid, because he was still a young man. Then Ziba and Zamunah said, Rise yourself and fall upon us. For as the man is, so is his strength. And Gideon arose and killed Ziba and Zamunah, and he took the crescent ornaments that were on their necks of their camels. Then the men of Israel said to Gideon, Rule over us, you and your son and your grandson also, for you have saved us from the hand of Midian. Gideon said to them, I will not rule over you, and my son will not rule over you. The Lord will rule over you. And Gideon said to them, Let me make a request of you. Every one of you give me the earrings from his spoil, for they had golden earrings because they were Ishmaelites. And they answered, We will willingly give them. And they spread a cloak, and every man threw in it the earrings of his spoil. And the weight of the golden earrings that he requested was 1,700 shekels of gold. 
besides the crescent ornaments and the pendants and the purple garments worn by the kings of Midian, and besides the collars that were around the necks of the camels. And Gideon made an ephod of it and put it in his city in Ophrah. And all Israel whored after it there, and it became a snare to Gideon and to his family. So Midian was subdued before the people of Israel, and they raised their heads no more. And the land had rest forty years in the days of Gideon. Jeroboam, the son of Joash, went and lived in his own house. Now Gideon had seventy sons, his own offspring, for he had many wives. And his concubine, who was in Shechem, also bore him a son, and he called his, his name Abimelech. And Gideon, the son of Joash, died in a good old age and was buried in the tomb of Joash's father at Ophrah of the Abiezrites. As soon as Gideon died, the people of Israel turned again and whored after the Baals, and the Baal beareth their god, and made Baal beareth their god. And the people of Israel did not remember the Lord their God, who had delivered them from the hand of all their enemies on every side. And they did not show steadfast love to the family of Jeroboam, that is, Gideon, in return for all the good that he had done to Israel. John chapter 8, verses 12 through 30. Again Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So the Pharisees said to him, You are bearing witness about yourself. Your testimony is not true. Jesus answered them. Jesus answered, Even if I do bear witness about myself, my testimony is true, for I know where I came from and where I am going, but you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge according to the flesh. I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is true, for it is not I alone who judge, but I am the Father who sent me. In your law it is written that the testimony of two people is true. I am the one who bears witness about myself, and the Father who sent me bears witness about me. They said to him, therefore, who, Where is your father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would know my father also. These words he spoke in the treasury as he taught in the temple, but no one arrested him because his hour had not yet come. So he said to them again, I am going away, and you will seek me, and you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, Will he kill himself, since he says, Where I am going, you cannot come? He said to them, You are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins, for unless you believe that I am he who will die in, who will die in your sins. For unless you believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, Just what I have been telling you from the beginning. I have much to say about you and much to judge. But he who sent me is true, and I declare to the world that I have heard from him. What I have heard from him. They did not understand that he had been speaking to them about the Father. Jesus said to them, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he and that I do nothing on my own authority, but speak just as the Father taught me. And he who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do the things that are pleasing to him. As he was saying these things, many believed in him. Psalm 110, a Psalm of David. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord sends forth from Zion your mighty scepter. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people will offer themselves freely on the day of your power, in holy garments from the womb of the morning. The dew of your, the dew of your mouth will be yours. The Lord has sworn, and I will not, cha and will not change His mind. You are a priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord is at your right hand. He will shatter kings on the day of His wrath. He will execute judgment among the nations, filling them with corpses. He will shatter chiefs over the, whole, over the wide earth. He will drink from the brook by the way. Therefore, he will lift his head, lift up his head. Proverbs 15, 4 says, A gentle tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness in it breaks, in, but perverseness in it breaks the spirit. All right, tomorrow is May 2nd, and we will read Judges 9. John 8, 31 through 59, Psalm 111, and Proverbs 15, 
five. All right, see you back here again tomorrow.